Okay, so this is just setting up the regeneration for our Embraum uh, glove boxes that have double stations. I think this is like the 2012 model. So the different models and they have different types of ways of regenerating. So the first thing you're going to need is a 10% hydrogen, 90% nitrogen regeneration tank that you can get from the stock room. You can download the Excel sheet and order that online. Um, from the department it's free, so whenever you need to do regenerations, go ahead and do them. Um, so I've put the tank over here and I've secured it to the countertop. Um, and so that's kind of the first step. You have to make sure that the tank has enough for has enough gas for regeneration. Regeneration takes about 700, 750 psi. Um, so I'd suggest that you make sure you have that much in your tank before you actually use it. This has 800 psi, so that should work pretty well. Um, the second thing you have to make sure is that you've got this set of tubing hooked up to the right places on your glove box. So in that case, um, there's a nut that's connecting the tubing inside the glove box. You can unscrew it with this wrench in particular in our lab, and you can move over here and see where it's um, put in here. It might be better. It's right here. It's right next to a sticker that says regen gas, which tells you exactly how much you should be bringing in there. Um, we only have one set of this, so you have to move it from glove box to glove box. In our case, it's already set up, but it's just a simple screwing in and tightening. So the third thing we have to do is get this regulator. Um, in this case, because we're using a mixture of hydrogen and nitrogen gases, we have to use a hydrogen regulator, and you can make sure that it's the hydrogen regulator by looking at the nut on the regulator, and it should say hydrogen, it should be CGA 350. It's anything but that. Um, don't use it because that's dangerous. So we've already coated the gas tank with some Teflon tape from before. You can use, choose to use it or choose not to. It's totally up to you. We use it because we have a ton of it anyway. So um, hydrogen regulators are different than normal ones because the way that they are inserted is opposite. So righty tighty is universal except for these these go the other way around, so that's something to remember when you're putting it on. So you just have to make sure that it's steady and you can screw it in with your finger. There we go. And you should still see a little uh, sliver of white Teflon tape. It doesn't completely go all the way in. Okay, so that's as much as I can do with my fingers. Um, in that case, we have a much larger wrench that you can use to uh, tighten things. don't have to give too much, but that's good enough. Okay, so that bit set up, and then you have to connect this piece of tubing to the other part of your regulator, and that you can do. Like that, we have a clip to make sure that this stays in place and doesn't fly off because you don't want to fill the lab with gas. So that's one thing I don't have. I think there's a So this is secure. 
secure, it's not gonna fall off. The next thing you wanna do is open the gas tank and it'll tell you up here that if you turn it uh, to the right, that's closed, turn to the left, that's open. As soon as you open it, you should see the gauge on the regulator pop up. This tells you how much gas is in your tank. This lets you know um, at what pressure you're actually pushing gas out. And so you can hear that hit swear at about 800, 900, and it's set for about 5 psi. And that'll be a little bit more than what we need for right now. So, the second thing that you have to set up here um, is a connection to water. So actually we can see it better over here. If you look under the glove box, there is a piece of tubing that goes to the glove box that goes out into an Erlenmeyer flask. Um, we generate some water during the regeneration and so we collect it here because part of the process is measuring how much water we generate. And so as soon as you have that set up, um, that's most of the bits that you need. Everything else gets done on the glove box. So, to do a regeneration, you have to make sure that your glove box atmosphere is purged down to less than 0.1 ppm because it's going to stay with that atmosphere for 16 hours. Um, you really don't want it to destroy the chemistry inside of the glove box. So, what you do is just go to regeneration purifier upon which you'll see a window that says you really want to regenerate the purifier, you say yes, and it'll ask you to prove flow of the regeneration gas. At this point, the only way to get out of it, to get out of the regeneration window, is to click reset process. Um, let someone know in the lab if you do that, because the reset process still shuts everything down for about 20 minutes or so. And if it's unnecessary, then just by asking us, you can avoid that. Okay, so in our case, we want to do this. So we have to confirm the regeneration gas flow. And we do that by going down here and looking at this uh, flow meter right down here. And it indicates to you where the ideal gas flow is in between these two lines. This is just the lead bead that's in there. And right now, the flow rate looks pretty good. The bead is in the center, and it's being pretty consistent over time. You always want to make sure, about a, give it about a minute or two to make sure it doesn't go up too high, it doesn't go down too low. And usually the regulator is set at exactly what um, needs to be for the regeneration to occur. In this case, it's a little bit, it's close to four, under five, definitely five is a little bit too much. So once you prove the flow of the gas, you want to close the small trap and just leave it under static vacuum um, because the vacuum pump is actively doing things during the regeneration and one of the things it doesn't have to do is evacuate this chamber. So we lessen the load on it a little so now that we've proved gas flow, we can click OK, under which case the regeneration is already going. If we go to status, we have the regeneration time, which is 960 minutes, which is 16 hours. The last time we did the regeneration and the total time that the purifier has been working. So at this point, you just want to wait and make sure that the regeneration is going properly. As soon as we see 960 go to 959, we're done. There you go. So regeneration is starting. Make sure not to touch the gloves in the glove box or disturb the atmosphere at all. Uh, the glove box will go back on circulation in 16 hours. Make sure that you document everything in the logbook. So typically what we do is we write a regeneration, a starting, and an end PSI. In this case we're about 800, as well as a total water in milliliters 
when we come back the next day. And so all of this stuff should be filled out um, once the regeneration is over. In that case, you just disconnect everything and put everything back. That's about it.